Hi, welcome back again to our Husqvarna ride-on video. This is part two, tractors. Um, like some of the stuff that I talked about in the zero turn and articulated rider video. Uh, why buy a Husqvarna? Several different reasons. Uh, warranty number one, the Husqvarna rider tractors, uh, ride-on tractors, sorry, are um, a three-year warranty. Uh, they're five-year on the chassis and they're ten-year on the armor protected deck and I don't know if we have one out here, hopefully we do. If it has the fab deck, this is what we call stamp deck, it's one solid piece of metal. If it has the fab deck, uh, and there's a couple of the tractors that do, has a lifetime warranty on it. Number one reason why I would have a Husqvarna, and this comes non-biased, this is my own observation from having different models and moving into a Husqvarna. Uh, I started off my property, I mow about half an acre, less than half an acre, um, the first tractor I had I think was 11 and a half horsepower and I won't say which brand it was but I noticed that I didn't get a great cut if I let the lawn get a little bit higher if I was away for a week or something I come back and it just didn't want to perform right a lot of clippings it just my lawn never looked as good as when I moved up to I think it was this model I first used on my lawn with Husqvarna and what I noticed right away uh, more horsepower um, tighter turning radius um, and a better cut. I mean, this is only a twin blade. However, I can cut with this model quicker than I could my other tractor, uh, and a better cut. Uh, and it does make a difference. I mean, if a, if a lawnmower is not powerful enough, if it's struggling, your lawn won't look as good. The Husqvarna, even the the entry level, which is the YTA 18542, um, does a fantastic cut. Kevin's going to tell you a little bit about it, this. Very nice economical mower to use. It's 18 and a half horsepower, like Terry mentioned. It's a 42 inch cut. Uh, some really nice features. For example, when you self adjust your deck, for example, and you, you want to you go in to have a snack or come back or leave for a moment or two, you can mark where you left off at in case you ra raise your deck to put it in the garage or what have you. It has hooks in the back. There's an available sunshade that you can put on it. So if you want uh, someone else to mow it for you, and uh, they don't like wearing hats, now you can have the optional sunshade. Of course, it has the washed out deck, which is very nice to keep the underneath of this clean. Uh, by doing that, like Terry had mentioned before, it affects the, to keep the, the wet grass, to keep the white grass from being underneath it, stops it from rusting. Also, by having it clean underneath, it can, it's able to shoot the grass out that much farther, too, because there's no restriction of the grass moving out. Uh, has the 20 inch nice turf tires on the back, which is very nice. Of course, it also has the trailer hitch adjustment on the back, so you can haul many of the Husqvarna accessories on the back of it. Um, very easy to engage the deck. It's a lever control, much like you'd find in an automobile. Lever control, just if push it forward or pull it backwards, regardless if you want to engage the deck or not. It's a CVT transmission, which is very popular in auto automobiles now, meaning for forward speeds, you simply push the pedal forward, and for reverse, you simply push the pedal reverse. It's foolproof. Anyone can use it. A couple of uh, things we went to mention about this model as well. Being that it's Husqvarna's base model, I just want to point to some, a weakness in some other tractors and not in the Husqvarna line. You see how that gives a nice tight turning radius? That steering control arm, it's in there very solid. It's, it's fastened right through to here, and it comes up in a solid cast uh, lever up, up in this area, and the support, the steering support, is bolted right through to, uh, to this lever here. I've had other tractors, like I mentioned in the past, that didn't have that. They weren't solid. It was, uh, the control arm was basically pop in and pop out. So one day I was mowing, I kind of hit, uh, my wheel hit the side of a tree, and boom, I lost control of the tractor. And uh, thankfully I was only going probably four miles an hour. Uh, however, I had to get out and pop it back in. And that made me think, just what if my son was on the tractor and, and mowing and hit something? I mean, what am I putting him in hard's way? And here Husqvarna has even something as simple as this. It's just good and solid. It's, uh, it's, it's rugged, it's Husqvarna quality. The other thing that uh, Kevin had mentioned to this CBT transmission is drive uh, by pedal. Um, so it's, it's just like a car, the further down you push, the faster it goes. There's no shifting like there is in some tractors. And in reverse, you just hit the back pedal, that's your reverse. 
It also has cruise control. Um, when you're setting your pedal, pull this up and it keeps it in that position. Okay, so now we move down. This is not all the tractors that Husqvarna has. This is just some of the most popular ones that we sell. Um, but it, there's certainly a, a wide range of tractors that aren't represented here that have a lot of fantastic features, including, and we didn't have any here to highlight them today, the LS series. The LS series tractor is fantastic. It has the intelligent ignition. You don't even need a key. Uh, it has um, the rear locking diffs. So if you're really challenged and you've got hills and you're trying to snow plow or snow blow, you can, the rear, rear locking diff will give you more traction up big hills, through snow, through swampy sections. Uh, it's certainly a nice option to have. Um, now, all of these tractors, you can fit the snow blower to it, which is an option for even the 18542. Um, the next, uh, and what you would do, sorry, uh, what you would do is you would put chains and weights on the back end in order to give you the traction. Now we move from the CVT transmission into the hydrostatic drive transmissions in the YTH22K42. Um, I believe that the 18542 is the only tractor uh, in the Husqvarna lineup this year that has the CVT. The larger motor, uh, we've got a 10 year warranty on the 42 inch deck, uh, very similar to the 18542 except for it does have the Kohler 7000 series uh, 22 horsepower motor on it. Whereas the, um, the 18542 has an 18.5 horsepower uh, Briggs & Stratton Endurance Series motor. Uh, both have headlights, operational headlights. Switch. Both have hour meters. A um, little bit of a difference with this one is it has the electronic engagement for the blades, push up and push down. Then we move up to a little bit bigger deck but smaller horsepower, the YTH 20 V46, 46 inch deck. Again, back to the Briggs and Jern series, 20 horsepower motor on this one. Very similar to the last one we looked at, only it's back to the lever uh, to engage the, the mowing blades. So that would be on and off. Again, pedal driven. <clears throat> now we get into a little bit more substantial tractor, the white, uh, the, sorry, the LGTH 22V48. So starting at the front, you're gonna notice that it has the bumper Still staying with the, the Briggs Endurance Series 22 horsepower motor. You're going to notice the tires are a little bit larger. On the front end of this, uh, we've got the Turf tire 16 inch. I believe on the other models they were uh, 15 inch. On the back, the other models were 20. Now we're moving up to a 22 inch tire. Uh, again, if you're really for, for moving in snow, for moving in swampy conditions, these night these larger tires are nicer. They're a little bit taller. They're, they're nice and wide. They've got a good traction on them and it might make life easier uh, with the larger tires. I'm talking about life easier. Hand rests or arm rests, sorry. And let's not forget the cup holders. I don't know if Kevin mentioned that on the first one, but all of these models have cup holders on them as well. Now, on the right hand side we can see that this doesn't have the pedal still has a hydrostatic drive transmission however here's your lever control you don't even have to use the pedal any longer um, you're in neutral in this position forward and reverse and you just leave it it's not gear selecting it's just a fluid lever uh, much like a gas pedal only you don't have to worry about holding it down and you've got more control because right by your hand Next model up, GTH 24V54. So now we've got the big 24 horse engine. Again, Briggs uh, Endurance Series motor. 54 inch deck gives you a nice big wide cut. And I believe these tires are 23 inch. They are 23 by 10, uh, 10.5 actually. 
It's just a little bit larger than the last one that we looked at. Again, hydrostatic drive transmission. Now, this one doesn't come standard with the armrest, but the armrest kit is available. Um, it still has the, the cup holder. And it has grab handles. That, actually, I didn't mention that on all the other models, but some of the other models did have the grab handles. Um, again, it has the lever control for the hydrostatic drive transmission for forward and reverse. And something, if you just want to come around here and have a look at the uh, at where you put your legs, there's your sight gauge for fuel level. The last two tractors, the LGTH2248 and this GTH2454, both had those sight gauges for fuel level, which is a nice feature. Something else we should mention, I think Kevin said that uh, they all had the clean out on the deck, which is basically you uh, little attachment that Husqvarna gives you to go on the end of your hose, click it onto here, washes out your deck. Turn your tap on, cleans the underside of your deck, which gets that grass and the grime away from there and uh, lets it to dry out and breathe. The grass is held in tight, it holds moisture and rots your deck out prematurely. Um, another feature that these have, they all have operational headlight, headlights with the on-off switch on top. Uh, Anti-scalloping rollers. Uh, all of these tractors have the anti-scalloping rollers. This model has five. One forward, one back on each side, one in the middle. Five on this one as well. The, um, I think as the decks get narrower, we drop down a little bit to two, one on each side of the 46 inch. Uh, two on the 42s as well, one on each side. Just to keep, as you're tipping back and forth, it keeps your deck from ripping your lawn right down to the soil. Okay, so now we showed you in the first video how you would cut along those pylons with zero turns and articulators, uh, which had no challenge with those pylons where they're at. Now admittedly they did get moved, but we put them back roughly where they were. Um, Kevin's going to try in the smallest tractor just to see how well he can do figures around the, uh, the pylons and in between the pylons and give you a good visual on what you need, uh, you know, what, what the difference in the mowing styles between a tractor, the zero turns and the articulators would be. Thank you for watching our video.